I'm Soledad O'Brien. Welcome to Matter of Fact. The words we use to communicate are constantly changing. Yet by the end of this century, some experts predict that more than 90% of the world's languages will be extinct or endangered. The United Nations warns that most of these languages are spoken by indigenous people around the world, including many in the U.S. The U.N. has declared the next 10 years as the International Decade of Indigenous Languages. Recently, President Biden signed two bills into law that will support Native American language schools and programs. Our correspondent, Joey Chen, traveled to Tahlequah, Oklahoma, to hear the voices trying to preserve the past for the future. This is how a language dies, with the last keepers of its precious legacy. Each one of these graves could represent... The speakers we've lost, yeah. In two years, that's... It's a lot of loss. Yeah. COVID struck hard all across Indian country, but it was especially hard on vulnerable elders, their numbers dwindling even before the pandemic. This is it right here. It's that. Yep. This is my grandma. What was her name? Eda Scraper. Eda Scraper. Mm -hmm. Eda May. <laughs> when Eda May Scraper passed last year, her family lost a beloved matriarch. Her tribe lost one of the last first language speakers of Cherokee, and says her husband, Junior, one of the best. Was her Cherokee better yeah. than yours? Yeah, I, I, well, <laughs> I can speak Cherokee, but I can't read the language. She could do that. Mm, she could do that, yes. She and she taught, taught herself, herself too. Yeah. yeah, nobody taught her, she just picked it up. Yeah. It's never been easy to learn Cherokee, which didn't even have a written language until the 1800s. The government's Indian boarding schools punished children caught speaking native languages, and parents feared for their kids. The Howard Payton is helping to lead the effort to save the Cherokee. These are the people that have dealt with trauma after trauma after trauma. Their parents had dealt with trauma. Uh, their property was stolen. They were stolen in jail. So we're coming back in and saying uh, they're sacred. Now, facing the extinction of their language, the tribe has turned to their elders for help. Kristen Thomas was part of a team sent out to find and record every living first speaker. It's not just a book. This is the heart of who we are. This is, this really is our heartbeat. About 1,300 of an estimated 2,000 first speakers of Cherokee have signed, but many have since passed away, underscoring the urgency of the campaign. How seriously is your language in jeopardy? Every day. We have a bell that uh, sits out beside the front of our language center, and it's rung every time a first language speaker passes, and there are few mornings that we don't hear the bell. Still, every morning, they also hear the sounds of hope. The $20 million Durban Feeling Language Center opened last fall, home to a K-8 immersion school and more than a dozen other programs aimed at reviving the language, including the two-year-long Master Apprentice Program, a full-time, five-day-a-week commitment for adults to learn Cherokee and be paid to do it. Among the current learners, Deha Louie Kaylee Gonzalez and her friend Wanima Holcomb, whose family even lives on campus in its multi-generational Cherokee-speaking housing. The language hub came together faster than even its strongest proponents had dreamed. Wade Galasgewi was an early advocate. Why do you need this? I believe we aren't Cherokee without our language. When I speak in Cherokee, I'm actually using the language of my ancestors and speaking their thoughts. So, any, so without the Cherokee language? I believe that anything we did culturally would just be an echo of who we are. You wouldn't really be Cherokee. I wouldn't be Cherokee. It's a lesson and a legacy Ida May passed on to her granddaughter. I definitely feel like I owe it to her. And just to, I just wanted to see that I care. 
and that she'll help give voice to the future of Cherokee. For Matter of Fact, I'm Joey Chen in Welling, Oklahoma. Next.